Okay, it's time for a little update in Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. And yes, that last video, it was an April Fool's joke. So to all you trolls out there, I'm still here. So you can stop celebrating. So anyway, I've been online and ordered a few parts from Rapid Electronics and this is what I got. The, what's in this bag here and a whole bunch of resistors because although I have many resistors somewhere in here, got a whole box full of them somewhere, ah, here we are. I've got all kinds of odd values in there, most of which I cannot use. That's why I got these, and they'll be going into one of those boxes soon. And just look at the ridiculous packaging that they came in. Just look at that. That great big box for these little things right here. So, got a good supply of resistors there. Be able to make some more projects now. I'm also going to make some changes to my microphone preamp. Because, as you probably know, it's a hybrid between tubes and transistors. Well, I'm going to try and see if I can make it all tube. So that's going to be a future project. So let's have a look at what we've got in here. Let's just open this up. Pour all the stuff out. So let's see what I go on and ordered. Going from right to left. Got some 47k potentiometers. Got some 22k's because I also needed those. Got some 2N3906 transistors. A couple of triacs. A couple of 555 timers. Now I'm sure I ordered about five of those, although for some reason I only have two, which is kind of kind of weird. Got some 2N222As. Some 2N3904s. A couple of TA7642 radio ICs. And over here, a hundred high voltage disk capacitors. I'm going to make a capacitor bank with those where I can tap it off at various different capacitances so I have a matching capacitor for my primary on my vacuum tube tester coil. Because you might remember I tried that with a variable capacitor soaked in oil and it worked for up to about 2000 volts, but then when I put about 5000 volts into it, it arced over, so yeah. Even the oil wasn't enough to suppress it. So, that's what I'm going to do with these. Now these radio integrated circuits, I've seen a circuit online that uses these and I want to build a similar circuit. And that's something I've wanted to tinker around with. Now I will get to the superhead eventually, but first I want to try these out and see how those go. So anyway, everything from here to here is going to be used in the interrupter circuit I'm making for the vacuum tube tester coil. That's why I've got these triacs here, that's why I've got these 555 timers, that's why I've got these transistors, and of course the potentiometers to control the thing. I also ordered some diodes, but they didn't have any in stock. Well, they didn't have the ones that I ordered in stock, so they're going to come later when they get them. Anyway, I've been yapping on for goodness only knows how long. 7 minutes and 50 seconds now, so I know the video isn't going to be that long because I'm going to be editing a few things out. But anyway, that's just a little update and, well, see you in the future projects.